What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Funko 411. Hope you all are doing well. If you are new to the channel, then welcome. Thank you for coming and taking a look at one of the videos. I do a lot of mystery box analysis type videos. I also open a ton of Funko sodas, so you're, if you're into that, then you found the right channel. But in this video, I'm gonna start a new series where I look at pops that are available right now in the stores uh, that I think will be potentially future grails. And there are some other channels who do this. I wanna make it clear though that this is not a pops on the rise type um, video. Uh, Mason over at Wasatch Pop does a great video series where he does you know, pops on the rise and looks at current pops that are trending higher in value. Those pops are usually associated with like new movies coming out or new TV shows coming out. And, you know, you kind of see trends and values because, you know, the new um, Loki series is on Disney Plus or something. So the Loki pops are going up in value. Those are great videos. That's not what this is going to be, though. This is going to be more just my own um, personal opinion of pops that I think have potential to go up in value because I think that either Funko didn't produce very much of them or they sold out really quickly or they were just kind of underrated. So that's what this is gonna be. Um, and to, just to prove that you can get them for retail, this box right here are brand new pops that I just got for retail price. And I do think that there are some grails in here. I'm gonna show you a total of, let's see, three. I'm gonna tell you, I think I'm gonna have six pops in this video. So we'll start off with this box and then I got three other ones that are not in a, not in a shipping box, but you can get them for retail. So we'll start off with these. All right, let's rip into this box. Uh, these pops I bought from the Big Bad Toy Store. Let me move this over so you can't see them. Not that it really matters, but I'll keep somewhat of a surprise element. I love Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I do recommend if you buy from them though to, to pay the extra money to buy like the collector grade because their shipping is like mm, average at best, but the first one that I had from Big Bad Toy Store was this Homer on the Couch Simpsons Funko Pop. This was 25 bucks at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, it recently sold out on Funko Shop. So they had you know their normal stock of it. It's not an exclusive or anything like that. Um, but it, they did sell out of it recently. I don't think I think it's getting harder to find for retail. You still can definitely get it for 24, 25, you know, up to $30. But I think that this one actually has the potential to go up into like the $100 range. And you know, um, in terms of time frame, it's really hard to say. I I'm kind of putting it at like a year mark. Some of these can explode like that and it could go from 25 bucks to 100 in a few months. But some of them do take some more time to mature. Uh, I think this one is a really good candidate to have some, some maturity time and it could get up to $100 or more pretty easily. Um, I'll go ahead and take a, take a look at it. Why not, right? We'll open it up. So there is Homer sitting on the couch. I mean, it's just like an iconic little moment from The Simpsons. I just think that this is one that a lot of people could really end up wanting in the future that they kind of maybe just glazed over because Funko releases so many pops. So this could be one that really trends up in value. I just noticed actually on the TV, it says created by Matt Groening. So that's pretty cool. Lots of really great details that you don't really ever see until you open the box. I like opening them up and showing you guys all those cool details. So there is Homer. All right, so then the next one, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and just show you both of them because they're kind of staying in trend with The Simpsons and it's the Itchy and Scratchy, and I should reverse them, the Itchy and Scratchy set of two pops from The Simpsons. Now again, you can easily find these for retail price. Um, I think that these can easily be in the 40 to $50 price range in a year, maybe. This, these might take a little longer because these are mass produced. I think there's a lot of these, but I think these kind of fall similar to like the Ren and Stimpy pop. So 
Uh, they have like a specific following of people who are going to buy them and they're going to want them. If, they, if there's new collectors to The Simpsons or Funko in general, they're going to want to get these pops. And I think this is a good pair that could, you know, could go up in value. So I decided to invest in these and, and kind of see what happens with them. So there is Itchy and Scratchy. I'll go ahead and take these out so you can take a closer look at them. All right, so there is Itchy. And there is Scratchy with his big bats. Really cool figures, really cool pops. I'm definitely a Simpsons fan. I, I mean, I don't know if I would keep these long, like really long term in the collection, but I, I'm happy to, I, I, if you've watched any of the videos before, I've mentioned that I am not a flipper. I don't flip, you know, pops and buy them and then try to sell them immediately for, you know, double the price. But I do like to speculate on the long-term value of a pop and that's kind of what I'm doing with these kind of speculating buying them for 20 bucks for the pair and hoping you know in a year year and a half maybe they'll be worth 80 90 100 dollars as a pair so there's itchy and scratchy all right next one on the list is brand brand new this is Emotep from the mummy this one just came out I literally just got it in the mail uh, it's a really, really cool figure if you check that out. I'll take it out of the box in a second, but he's a really cool figure. Um, I did order the other two in the set. They haven't came yet, but out of the three, I actually think this one has the highest potential to increase in value because uh, the, the more unique characters tend to be less produced than the main characters, so they'll probably make less of him right, you know, over you know, Rick, the, um, the character played by Brendan Fraser. They'll probably make more of him. Um, one thing I will mention too, I don't know if he does like signings and stuff, but you have to be careful with certain pops that are autographed by celebrities frequently because they, even if it's like a minor character, you know, a character like this who you might not think that they'll make a ton of these pops, his character, if, um, if Brendan Fraser is doing signings or anything like that, then they will end up making tons and tons and tons of these pops just for autograph signings and that will impact the long-term value if that's what you're buying it for and that's what you're interested in but this one i think um won't be as mass produced so i really like this one i think this one could be you know in the 40 50 dollar range in a year year and a half something like that so 10 bucks hopefully going up to 40 and 50 not too bad let's take a quick look at them out of the box so there is emotep really really nice figure cool figure i like that it has like its own little base it is kind of like cheapy plastic on the bottom but it still looks really cool especially if you just if you put it down you're not going to notice that that base is kind of cheap and it's i definitely prefer this rather than just the normal little piece of clear plastic that most of the pops get so there's emotep i really like that one cool figure all right next one on my list is Ellen Ripley with the Power Loader. Um, this one, again, I think is a really, really underrated, but a super, super, super cool figure. Uh, Top Pops has actually brought this one up, and I totally agree with him that this is one of the best of the year so far, um, but also one of the best in terms of like, just underrated. You can find these on the shelves at GameStop right now. Go into the store, you could probably find one really cool figure let's take this one out yeah i didn't get super lucky with my box i did get one that had like a little bit of a, a tear on it so not the greatest box condition but the figure itself is awesome really great if you're an out of box collector especially because it just looks really cool there's ellen ripley in that power loader just a really nice figure you can tell that they put some extra tlc into that one so there's that one. I think, you know, this one does cost a little bit more. It's like a $30 pop, but similar to the Homer, I could see this one being in the $80, $90 range. Probably maybe a little less than Homer, but um, somewhere in that range, maybe a hundred bucks, something like that, in a year or so, year and a half. So there's Ellen Ripley. All right, and the last one on today's list is going to be Emily from The Corpse Bride. This is another one that's brand new. It's Diamond Edition from Hot Topic. 
These you have to be a little bit more careful with when it's a Hot Topic exclusive because they do tend to restock a lot. They can order more. They can really pump them out and make a lot more of them. So, you know, this one I would say my price prediction is sort of like contingent on them not overdoing it, on them not over overloading the market with more and more of them. Um, this one I think actually you probably have to pay a little bit more to get right now because it did sell out on Hot Topic. Um, so there is Emily from the Course Bride. It's a really nice, nicely done figure. Just really, I mean, the between the, the details of the worm in her eye, the glitter, the it just it just looks really great. It's a great, great figure done really well by Funko. So I think this one, um, I compare this one to like the Lydia Dietz from Beetlejuice in the red dress. That one's like a hundred bucks now. Um, I would say that this one's probably got the potential to be up in that range in the near future. So there is Emily Corpse Bride. All right guys, well that is everything I've got for you today. I hope you like these pops. I hope you like the video. If you like this style of video and you wanna see more like this where I give you some predictions of pops that I think will be valuable in the future, could be future grails, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because that'll be the best way to get notified when I post a new video. Um, and hit that like button. That helps out the channel a lot. I appreciate it and I will see you on the next one. Thanks everybody for hanging out until the end of the video. Gonna go ahead and do our giveaway from the FunCon part three video, the previous video to this one. The first giveaway is actually gonna be for this Thor soda. So I went ahead and I got this comment picker up and I'm just looking for the word Thor because some of you use Thor, some put Thor soda. So there were seven comments, so go ahead and run it right now. And we've got a winner of Patty Kenyon, Patty. Congrats on the Thor soda. It is a common, but it's still a cool one. So reach out to me on Instagram if you want to claim that Thor soda. I will send it right out to you. Thanks again, Patty, for watching the video, commenting. I appreciate you. Okay, so then for the other giveaway, I asked all of you to put a number, a hashtag and a number in the comments, either one, two, three, four, or five. So I went ahead and set up the comment picker right there. There were 22 comments. So whatever number you chose, one, two, three, four, five, that's gonna be the pop that you win. That's gonna be the giveaway. So we will go ahead and run this now, see who wins and see what number they picked. It is Key Tons of Fun, and it looks like they picked, my number is going to be number two. So number two is Crash Bandicoot, congrats, you won that Crash Bandicoot. Congrats on that. Reach out to me on Instagram, Funko411 on Instagram, and I will hook you up with that. I'll send that right out to you. Thanks again for commenting. Uh, thank everybody, you know, everybody who commented on the video and entered in the giveaway, appreciate you, and I'll see you next time.